It's almost Valentine's Day, and with it comes that annual angst of trying to find the perfect romantic gesture for your significant other that isn't A, cliche, like roses or a box of chocolates, B, expensive, like a fine piece of jewelry, or C, impersonal, like those mass Valentine's Day dinner shifts at a fancy restaurant with a hundred other couples. Then, throw in COVID and you have even fewer options. Well, I have the perfect thing that's unique, cheap, and involves just you and your lover. First, we need just the right backdrop. Ah, uh, yes, this will do. What's more romantic than picnicking in the city by the bay where Tony Bennett left his heart? And a romantic setting? Need some romantic food. Sparkling wine. These little individual servings are only $5 a can, and you could drink straight out of them with a straw or bring your own plastic wine glasses to make it fancy. And to munch on, we are going to be assembling one of the hot new crazes of this year, the themed charcuterie boards, which are more than just meat and cheeses. Some of my favorites on the gram include Chrissy Teigen's Thai snack board, the hot chocolate fixings boards, and the bruschetta boards. Although some of these boards can get pretty detailed and extravagant, it's equally as effective to keep it simple so long as you've got quality food items to populate your board. There's even small board and charcuterie subcategories, which are perfect for this kind of a picnic. And to keep to the Valentine's theme, we are going to use one of the most romantic foods that is not chocolate, French macarons. I've got a small selection from some of the best macaroon shops from around San Francisco, plus some berries and cheese. Let's start with the authority, Chantal Guillon, headquartered in Soma. Originally opened by Parisian Chantal Guillon, who brought her French macaron recipes to the Bay Area in 2008. These are the ultimate classics, all the way down to their flavors. Lemon, pistachio, salted caramel, and even fancy ones like champagne black currant and almond amaretto. The two I'm gonna feature for Valentine's is the passion fruit and the lavender black currant. Usually macarons are composed of two meringue cookies that are made with almond flour and egg whites for that light airy texture. A great macaron cookie will be thin and crunchy on the outside and when you bite into it, give way to that fluffy, chewy interior. Mmm, perfect. Do you hear that slight crunch? Although the cookie itself has a light vanilla flavoring, inside is a dense, rich buttercream that packs the majority of the flavoring. A good macaron like this one will explode with flavor when you bite into that buttercream. Passion fruit is so delicious. It literally tastes like the essence of passion fruit. And all the textures as you bite through this cookie are phenomenal. First, thin and crunchy, then light and chewy, then this burst of smooth, sweet flavor. And then as you chew, those individual components hold up really well by themselves. So it's literally a symphony in your mouth throughout. Palette cleanser. They also go the extra mile with fancy decorations that make them perfect for gifting. The lavender black currant has what appears to be a sprinkling of poppy seeds. This one is definitely more delicate, and there's only the slightest hint of that lavender floral bouquet. For this more subtle flavor, the almond really comes out in this cookie. Interesting, and you can also see in the very center, there seems to be a concentration of flavor right there. So at $2.85 per cookie, these are definitely the more expensive of the bunch. And what you're paying for is the craftsmanship and the sole dedication to French macarons. And you're gonna get the most selection of flavors than anywhere else. All right, out of 10, I'm gonna give that Eight and a half. That's quite a score to open with. Everything about this cookie makes it super high class. The visuals, the packaging, the texture, the taste. But there's room to go up. Another very popular Salon de Thé is Bee Patisserie, which was opened up by classically trained chef Belinda Leong in the Lower Pacific Heights neighborhood in 2012. I did a whole coverage of them up here in my video on the best bakeries of the Bay Area, if you want to check them out. These are offered only on the weekends and they carry one or two flavors that feature the best of local ingredients and influences. The flavor this week, raspberry yuzu. First of all, look how huge this is. And for $2 per macaron, these are definitely the best deal of the day. Bee Patisserie, Chantal Guillon. Bee Patisserie, Chantal Guillon. And while her macarons are not fancy, Leong has this wonderful rustic aesthetic that really reminds me of homemade Americana. This is something you'd get at the milk bar, a la Christina Tochi. Now for the taste test. Mmm, 
This is a much thicker macaron with a larger proportion of the soft cookie. So that tends to read more predominantly in the bite. But because of that, I think you begin to read other things like the moistness of the cookie. And the buttercream tends to get overwhelmed and lose that sharp flavor profile. The buttercream filling is so nice though. I'm reading pretty strong raspberry with just hints of the yuzu complementing the strong fruity flavor with citric acid. I'm giving bee patisserie an eight and that's based purely on personal taste, so no hate comments. The cookie is fresh and moist, and for that size and price, it's such a good deal. But for me, there's too much cake and the balance is kinda off. Sorry, Belinda, love your other pastries though. And last but not least, I have to include one of my favorite patisseries, Miet, located in the Ferry Building, Hayes Valley, Jack London Square, and the Marin Country Mart. This sweet shop was started by Meg Ray as a farmer's market stall in Berkeley, once upon a time, selling homemade kitchen baked goods. I did another video here on the Ferry Building highlighting it if you want to take a look, but be kind. It was a very early, very roughly produced video. They make the most wonderful cakes, confections, and cookies, with macarons being one of their most popular items. These are not super fancy, but the taste is great. For today's picnic, I got the dolce de leche and the rose geranium. Both use the same base meringue cookie with just a change up to the flavor of the buttercream. And they're committed to a wholesome product, so they use only organic ingredients and no dyes, which is why these cookies are au natural. I'm gonna start first with the dulce de leche, which is a popular Mexican flavor that tastes a lot like caramelized flan. Mmm, very nice balance, and the filling is actually more caramel than buttercream. So there's this really nice quality to the texture when you bite into it and you pull away, it stretches like a caramel, like that. These miet macarons are also a little bit bigger than the Chantal Guillaume ones. And here it is compared to bee patisserie. And these are also two bucks per macaron. That caramel is so good, but so rich. I need a palate cleanser. And finally, the rose geranium macaron. I've been sitting in the sun for a little bit, so this is kind of melted. And I can open it so you can see the inside. Interesting. The rose geranium is super light, kind of a tiny floral hint. And the buttercream is just not as good when it's this soft. The cookie falls apart when you bite into it and that buttercream filling melts way too fast. So full disclosure, this is the first time I've had the rose geranium and sorry, not impressed. And I'm kind of surprised about the consistency because there's such a huge difference between the weak flavor of this one and the flavor bomb that is the dulce de leche, which leads me to a rating of seven and a half. Seven for the flavor, and they get that extra half point boost for the size to price value. Sorry, Matt, you're my favorite bakery, but today the macarons just didn't do it for me. That about wraps up this video with a big pink bow. If you decide to make your own theme charcuterie board, let me know what fun and personalized items you choose. Happy Valentine's Day with all my love.